Hi, Lizzie. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Okay, so we're excited that you're here at Mom Fair Live, and we're excited to talk to you here on Mom Fair TV all about work-life balance, because that's what you do. I'm curious to hear about your don't do list. <laughs> yes. So one of my biggest tips I give to moms is you must have a to don't do list. I mean, we all have to do lists, right? And they seem never ending. But what's really important is to figure out here are all the things that are most important that I need to get done in my life because that aligns with what's most important to me as a human being, as a mother, as a partner, right? And then focus on those things. Everything else becomes your to don't do list. Now, it could mean you just never do them. Or it could mean that you employ other people to help you do that. So things like what cleaning could be cleaning. What? It could be your laundry. So maybe you want to employ Washio, you know, to do your laundry. It could be grocery shopping. There's tools for that. It could be um, taking care of your children on certain days. You can have a babysitter come over from Urban Sitter or other places to kind of really help, right? Give you a little bit of that space to do what's most important to you and what's most fulfilling. On my to you know to don't do list. Um, it are things like I don't cook that often and when I do it's like you know I'll have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch uh -huh. or things like that um, I do a lot of like I don't have house plants oh. house plants surprisingly are gonna take a lot of your time if you're watering them or you're doing all these things I don't have house plants that's interesting I mean it's a little thing but if you think about it if you actually go through all the things you have to manage it's one more thing it's gonna cost like 30 minutes 40 minutes once a week and you could you kind know, of remove that from your life. And there's, you know, I see my girlfriends, but not necessarily every weekend. I see them like every, you know, maybe six weeks we get together and do something. So there's a lot of different things you can edit as your life changes. So tell me about your life right now. You're a mom of three under five. Yes. Yes, so it's a crazy, loving, beloved household. <laughs> There's a lot of noise. Um, I have three children. I have a four-year-old, a two-and-a-half-year-old, and a nine-and-a-half-month-old, a uh, boy, girl, boy. And um, everybody tells me, like, oh, my gosh, three kids. That's crazy. I had two, and I had to stop. And for me, it got easier with three given the fact that the older two play together. Okay. And so now I feel like I have a baby that's just I get to love, you know, and have the other two play. But... It's definitely like that scene from Home Alone where all the kids were running crazy and like right. I always am counting kids when I get in the car. Okay, do I have everybody? You know, because you have this well, fear. Do that sometimes. Yeah, the dog, the husband, and all the children. Okay, great, wonderful. So then, your work-life balance is something that you live every day. Yes. I'm curious, what have you told the women here at Mom Fair Live that maybe they've been most receptive about? Yes. Well, really, it's been about reminding women that this is your life. This is the only life you have, right? We're lucky to have every day. And we burden ourselves with so many expectations and the idea of perfection and control. And I believe both perfection and control are a myth. And I just tell them, release. Think about what you want for your life. What's your vision for long term? How does your life feel? How does it smell? How do, what sounds do you hear? And then focus on that. Don't focus on anything else that might serve the ego or the expectation. And I think when people at that highest level, that message is really telling women, I think, to just take a step back, right, and to reassess, what am I spending my time and energy on? And is it really serving me to what I really want for my life, what's most important? And I think I could see the wheels turn and women after have told me that they're just starting to like think about it and go through the process of editing out the noise and reframe what's most important. You came from a very busy, full-time corporate background, mm -hmm. and now you're doing a lot of consulting and expert work on your own. How has that affected your family life? Well, it's been great, um, but also a challenge for me personally. So I think it's been really great for my family. So my kids get to see me a lot more, and they're loving that, right? And my husband, and we're modeling our house, so I get to be home and manage, manage things, right. you know, which is always nice. But for me, it's been hard because now there's less delineation between work and personal. And when there's more delineation, it's kind of out of sight, out of mind, right? Like you're at work and you're focused at work and you don't think about it home because you're at work, at, at work. Right. And then, unless you get that frantic phone call, which we hope we don't get. And then when you're at home, you're all at home. And so now things have blurred a little bit more. So it's been really empowering for me as a woman to figure out how to do something on my own. But I think it's also taught me that it's very challenging when you want to be a working mom and, and try to do something on your own, but at the same time, try to be that mom and at work at the same time. So I'm starting to set up these rituals and these things that help me have separation, mm -hmm. uh, which has really been critical. Like what? Give me one example of a ritual that's helping you have separation. Sure. Um, so I have office hours. I mean, it's very simple as that. Is saying from this hour to this hour, I have full commitment from my husband 
and my other child support that comes in and my kids, I'm unaccessible during these times. And there's a time, start time and an end time. It doesn't matter if you see me walking around the house. It doesn't matter if I come out for lunch. It doesn't matter if it... Pretend I'm invisible. That's right. <laughs> Don't talk to me. And the first few times, the first few times, it's hard, right? But people, everybody learns and they respect it. And that's been the biggest thing, which I think a lot of us don't do. Well, it's a big thing. It's a valuable thing. Where can people find you online? LizzieAlberga.com. Um, and then I'm on Twitter at Lizzie Alberga, uh, Lizzie Alberga Gmail. It's really great having a unique last name. <laughs> we so, can look you up. We can Google your name and your name. Yes, and I'm there. Perfect. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thanks for the tips.